Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. And in this week's show we have the return of some big names, some new names and a name that keeps on producing trees. Let's do this. And to kick the show off this week, we have this beautiful lighthouse by Renewcom. Not only is this a lighthouse, but it's a lighthouse with the glass effect and canopy with rotating beacon light. Something that we have been missing greatly. And it's been made possible by a couple of guys, one of which is Vasimir's rotating beacon. And obviously not forgetting the main guy, Ronix69's prop rotating Pramas. Now the model itself is very well done, the brickwork and texturising looks brilliant, the LOD again is absolutely fantastic and it's certainly one of my most favourite lighthouses, it gives that traditional feel off and when the light's going round it does look very realistic. So guys remember if you want to download this there's a lot of required items you need, check that in his description and get placing guys, a great lighthouse. Next up we have King Leno with the United Warehouse. Now this is a great example of a abandoned warehouse type build. The detail is, is absolutely exceptional. That's not something we don't expect now from the likes of King Leno. And it has a great LOD, lot size 6x7 and well what more can we say about this building it's the perfect example for any rundown location texture wise beautiful the combination of Ronix's broken fences a beautiful beautiful model Now I promised you the return of a great creator and it is the return of Ivania. The warehouse queen has returned with these beautiful conveyor belts used to carry items from building to building. And it wasn't just the one asset we was blessed with this week from Ivania, she also created these crossing deck decals, both worn and solid lines. Certainly something that's been missing on the workshop. Next we have the return of P. Delmo. I don't know where he finds the time but we have another fantastic model. This time it's the hardwood tree. And what I particularly like about this tree is it can be used pretty much anywhere whether it's in your city or as a forest combination. The texture of the leaves and the branches themselves really really do look realistic and every tree that comes out from P. Delmo is one that I am fascinated by. Just look at the detail in all of these. So we've already seen the rundown warehouse, now we have the public housing building by, again, Mr King Leno. Now the interesting thing about these houses is they look quite modern but then again you could also imagine them being in a rundown sort of ghetto area. So the combination of these houses works in a variety of different environments and as always the texture, the lighting, the model, it's all beautiful. And if you haven't already, check out the collections on King Leno's workshop, the American Apartments and the other side of town, they all work beautifully with these. Up next is a model I wondered if someone would actually do at some point and they finally have thanks to PKMN with his highway LED signs. Whether they're viewed in the daytime or at night time the model looks beautiful either way and I'm sure you can find either something humorous or realistic in terms of what they are actually displaying. 
So check it out. Now for you aircraft and airport enthusiasts, Vasimir has released a airport runway light pack. The pack itself includes a runway light yellow and white and also yellow and red along with some high intensity red lights and green lights as you can see in these clips. And you don't have to use them in the airport, I'm sure some of these lights can be placed individually in your town or city to replicate something different. Up next we have this beautiful St Nicholas Church Prague by Titan. We have certainly seen over the last couple of weeks a high increase in a number of these type of buildings and they are they just look amazing. Now the model itself you can see in real life if you head over to Google and search for it. It's based in Prague in the Czech Republic and the model itself is extremely lifelike. The building itself is a footprint of 9 by 11 so it's a big a big location, a big area needed for this but it's certainly a centre point for your city or town and the night shots as well look absolutely phenomenal. Excellent work again by Titan. Next up we have the Sim Taxi Depot by Ninja Noob Slayer. Now this has been a remodel of, well sorry, a retextured model of the taxi line by GC Voss. And my, doesn't it look great at night time? The new banner looks beautiful. And what I love most about this build is the way that the realism really takes shape. We have the lights on, we have the taxis parking all over the place, not perfect. Pretty much as you would imagine a taxi driver to possibly park. A great model. Now I do like to find some crazy models and this one by Kusti Crooks is the Futuristic Town Museum. And my word it is futuristic, I do really like the design of this building very very unique and modern not something that's been seen yet on the workshop the glass front windows look beautiful overall just amazing now the model itself is quite large it is 9 by 15 but a beautiful product to put in any city center and last but by no means least we have Irusia with this absolutely outstanding model. The model itself is the Imperial Tower from Moscow and I must admit I spent absolutely ages having a look around this model in game. The detail is absolutely out of this world. The glass panels look beautiful reflecting against the sun and I really do like this cinematic. It really does show off the detail, the time and the effort put into such an amazing model. So if you're looking for a focus tower in your city's skyline or you just want to add to what's already there, this is certainly a model to introduce into your skyline. So guys that brings us to the end of this week's asset roundup. As always please leave your comments below, let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you would like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching, if you haven't already please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.